Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian here at the Paris Air Show, where our coverage is sponsored by Bell and Leonardo DRS. And we're over here at the Textron enclosure that includes Bell to talk to uh, Samir Rehman, who is uh, the uh, marketing director for Africa and the Middle East at Bell. Uh, Samir, great seeing you. Thank you very much, Vago. Thank you for your time. It's a pleasure. Uh, it is, it is uh, indeed a pleasure to be meeting with you. And I want to talk a little bit about the global helicopter market uh, and uh, specifically get down to the 525 and the 5. 505, uh, two new products that you guys develop as part of uh, Mitch Snyder's sort of reinvention scheme for the company, where you guys have reinvented the product, the processes, and everything that goes with it. Talk to us a little bit about the market itself, because, you know, when some of these programs were born, oil prices were high, everybody had an expectation that they were going to make money. The 525 was an oil and gas airplane. How's the market developing? Where are we now? Oil prices are edging up a little bit. Uh, where where are we and how is this market going to develop in each one of the of the segments as you see them, whether on the military, whether they're on the commercial, uh, and then whether on the high, really high-end transport market? Sure. The market's evolving differently around the globe. Uh, Middle East and Africa has a different sense to it, Asia Pacific, the United States, uh, Latin America, Europe, of course. What we have seen is since Bell uh, started the short life single market with the Bell 206, 6,000 of those were made over decades. Uh, we realized it required a reemergence into that space because that's where the helicopter starts were. We want to build an inorganic or unorganic growth of um, rotorcraft uh, uh, customers and also users. So we invented the Bell 505 Jet Ranger Rex. Global Globally, um, if you look, helicopter starts were going down. We were looking at ways to actually increase the presence of pilots. A lot of militaries we're speaking to, a lot of commercial operators said they were lacking ability to get skilled labor into, into those cockpits. The Bell 505 just exactly meets those requirements uh, from a flight training perspective, from a militarization perspective, from a tourism perspective, and even utility work. Um, we have had tremendous success. I believe 40% of, of the market is traditionally not a helicopter market that we brought to bear. It helps all industry uh, across the, the rotorcraft business, but also importantly, the utility of the helicopters increased. Somebody who looked at um, transporting themselves from point A to point B using using a helicopter leased or helicopter chartered is now looking at helicopter ownership again. And that increases the value of, of, of the aviation space in which we operate. Um, globally, that has had an impact for us. Uh, we've delivered over 150 Bell 505s in each key segment of the market, including the law enforcement agency in the West Coast, including the tourism market, and of course, flight training as well. Um, moving up the chain to the 525, the 525 will revolutionize rotor wing aviation. It'll be the world's first fly-by-wire helicopter, commercially certified. Of course, Bell's legacy in fly-by-wire has always existed with the V-22 Osprey. We're adapting that technology to put it in a commercial environment. The Bell 525's core use would be typically in around the world oil and gas, but the oil and gas market has taken a bit of a decline. And while that has occurred, we have taken an evolution of the product into more of a personal space, into VIP, VVIP, luxury items. Um, the 525 today is meant for captains of industry, uh, heads of state, people who really, really are looking at moving up to, to a helicopter that meets the requirements as they would a fixed wing aircraft in the 60, 80, 90, 120 million dollar range. So the 525 complements that fleet very, very well, including royal flights as well as pre presidential lifts. So we, we are looking at that market very, very seriously, certainly in the Middle East and, and beyond that. Globally, um, the helicopter market is down by 30, 40, 50 percent in some places. Um, that is just the truth in which we live. So we're looking at ways to innovate, looking at ways to create new technologies and fit and build niches uh, because that, this is where we want to compete. Um, I expect that <clears throat> the growth will continue for Bell. Um, we are being creative, we're being smart, we're innovating. As you know, we dropped the word helicopter from our logo, and that's for good reason, because we're in the business of vertical lift. And that has made a difference to us so far. Um, well, let me ask you um, a little bit of a market question, right? I mean, in this niche, you guys didn't have a product there. Uh, and so you have a lot of established players, especially in the high-end market. How do you guys compete against some established players, whether it's uh, on the Leonardo side of the equation, whether it's on the Sikorsky side, that have had a tendency of really monopolizing that space? Well, and, and of course, you, you also have uh, you know Airbus in that in that market as well. I can't speak uh, particularly as to what the uh, the others are doing, but I will tell you the key word out of the Bell 525 space. Um, I would call it light, heavy, super medium, is innovation. That's the core of the product. That's the value we're trying to sell. Fly-by-wire, triple redundant systems, uh, technology that doesn't exist today. We believe that's where the future is going. Um, traditionally, we would look at the rotorcraft 
industry to supply us the intel or the information we need to design products like that. We're looking at the gaming industry. We're looking at people who are using uh, Playstations and Nintendos and things of that nature to bring that technology to us. And that's incorporated in the products we're making. Are you familiar with the Bell Nexus, for instance, that we showcased at the CES show in Las Vegas and recently at HAI? That, too, is going to be a cutting-edge technology. So our value proposition is innovation at a great price, operating efficiencies, and terrific aftermarket support. Uh, and so what is the great advantage of a fly-by-wire system from your standpoint, right? Because for an operator, you would think that for an operator who's going to spend $100 million on an airplane, cost per flying hour isn't that important, but it actually is. What, what are the advantages and all the other, uh, let's say, lower maintenance or maintenance reduction features you have in the airplane? Fly-by-wire is all about safety. Uh, pilot workloads on the increase, uh, aircraft are working in more demanding environments and uh, in environments of the Coast Guard, uh, rescuing people from the ocean, from, uh, from mountain tops, floods, earthquakes. Um, governments are using more and more of the public funds and use directing it toward parapublic opportunities. Militaries, once aircraft for defense purpose, are using it to support their citizens. The Bell 525 does that very, very well with fly-by-wire, but reducing the pilot workload and allowing focus on others in the environment in which they're trying to help people in that country, in that citizen environment, in the in, in the tragedy that they're working. Uh, and uh, one last question. Any plans at all to make a militarized uh, militarized variant of the 525? Because in some respects, it looked like it would have some attributes that would be attractive to commercial customers, uh, to military customers, excuse me. Bell has always had a legacy of militarizing aircraft. Uh, we supported uh, the U.S. wars, fought around the world with militarized aircraft, but there's no current plan for the Bell 525. Samir Rahman, who's the managing uh, director uh, at Bell for uh, Africa and the Middle East, always a pleasure. Thanks very much. And hopefully uh, we'll see you uh, during the Dubai Air Show. Looking forward to Vago. Thank you for your time and the opportunity.